these guys were supposed to be in Avila, but um, the, that was due it. Due to health concerns, that Huey Lewis it. in the news will not be there. <laughs> that was it. That was it. <laughs> but I mean, look what they did. You know, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. Auto Productions that puts on this oh. event. Uh, you know, said, you know what? We're going to refund everybody their money. We're going to make this a free show. You can come out and see the fabulous Thunderbirds uh, featuring Kim Wilson and Shamika Copeland. And then they've got the guy Bud Band, I think. And Yeah, I mean, it's cool. A few other acts that are going to be out it's there. Cool and it's going to be a free show. Yeah, because, you know, the 25th annual Blues Festival. In many ways, you're like thinking, oh, man, it's the 25th. It's such a big year and all that stuff. But the cool thing is now Honor Productions is giving back to the community. And they're saying, hey, dude. Come on out here and let's just have a party. Don't even worry about your money, you know? Bring your money. Yeah. Save your money for the beer and stuff. And so come that's on out cool because I think a time. lot of people were really bummed. A lot of people were excited to see Huey Lewis in the news, even though you like to make fun of them for playing auto dealer, auto auctions, whatever it is. Yeah. But I mean, you know, but it makes me feel they, fortunate. They're a great live act. It makes me feel fortunate if I was a uh, uh, auto salesperson in the early 2000s and lived in the greater spokane area i i, I would have felt I, I would have felt fortunate because i'd be like well at least i got a chance to see him when i went to that auto dealer's uh, auto auction. <laughs> okay well i don't know what the future is for huey lewis in the news now they've played a lot of shows so i mean there's a chance you've probably seen them and they've been to the mint state fair they sold out two nights back to back what i think in the 80s okay. or the 90s <laughs> Do you know, did you know that? Yeah, they Garth Brooks that bitch back in the 80s. You're approaching Garth Brooks territory here. <laughs> Anyways, Huey Lewis was on the Today Show. I don't know if you saw this. I heard about it. And he talked a little bit about only way, what happened. Way, this is the only way that anybody goes from Spokane Auto Dealers Stop it, no, Auto Auction that's not true. to Today Show. It has to be tragedy. But he says, you know, that he can he can um, he can have conversations with people. He just can't hear the music the way he used to be able to, and it prevents him from singing. The bad news about Meniere's is that they don't know what it is. It's a syndrome. Do you know what Meniere's is? I've heard of it. I mean, he just said they don't know what it is, but my mom has it, and she had to put have tubes put in her ears, and sometimes she gets to, that she gets what? I went to school with a girl named Meniere. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that was her name. God, Meniere. So. What kind of name is that? Is it German? She was uh, from the Philippines. Oh, Manier. Manier. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so she gets she gets that uh, vertigo thing sometimes, and she has ringing in her ears. Uh, but anyways, this is what Huey said. The bad news about Manier's is that they don't know what it is. It's a syndrome based on symptoms, and it affects people differently. And all they can come up with as a treatment is a diet: no caffeine, lower salt, and you know, and keep your fingers crossed. But the good news is it it can get better. It just hasn't yet. <laughs> All right. So hopefully we'll get more. Huey, caffeine and salt. Those have to be my two favorite things. Yeah. I, I don't know. You're going to get Meniere's, dude. But the good thing is you don't have to sing, so it's not, not going to affect you. Caffeine, <laughs> salt, and alcohol. I mean, if you took two of those, I mean, I if I couldn't have those things, I'm like, what am I doing here? What am I going to start drinking, like, uh, cucumber water or something? There have been people that, you know. Grass shakes, my, smoothies. My grandfather, he smoked. He had a high sodium diet. He, you know, did all the things you're not supposed to do and ended up having. Heart attack? Tragic heart. Oh, he died Heart from condition. It? Yeah. He ultimately ended up claiming his yeah, life. Yeah, but nowadays after you, like you probably lived, five right? heart attacks. Oh, he had five? Yeah. Did he ever, did he stop after he the. He did. Oh. He would stop. But it, the damage was already done. But then he would start back up. Oh. You know, like he would, he would, he would be like, you know, he would go off. Um, and he would, he would be vigilant about it for like six months and then think, okay, everything's fine now. And then slowly creep back into that bad area of that bad pattern. sodium. He yeah. did quit smoking after the first one. So I got to give him that, but he would go back into that, you know, like, oh, I'm okay to eat sodium, sodium. And then boom, all of a sudden high salt diet again, another heart attack. Then, you know, so the, the vicious cycle continued. He died at a somewhat early age. Cause I remember he was about my age when he had his first heart attack and, um, or even younger, Jesus. I think he had his first heart attack in his late thirties. But anyways, um, you know, that's the watching somebody cut something out of their life that they're used to is a, it's a very tough thing to do. Hell, I'm dealing with it with you for to some a aspect right now because you're. What are you talking about? Because <laughs> you're, <laughs> uh, you're this diet that you're on. Yeah, I mean, the no carbs, the no sugar. I feel bad. I have a bagel every morning for breakfast. I feel terrible when I eat that bagel. It bothered me. It doesn't bother you, me. You anymore. sit there and you look at it and you. It's like the old cartoon when the when the coyote gets his 
his uh, neck uh, napkin on, and then he just polishes <laughs> up his his fork and his knife, and he's like standing over the run r- road runner. Yeah, I mean that's what I feel like when you when I eat the bagel. Maybe this is why this bothers me so much that he's having to give up caffeine and sodium for Meniere's for some inner ear issue. But it's like, yeah, because I'm not having any carbs, any sugars right now, and uh, that's that's it's hard, it's tough. But I mean. It, it doesn't, but you can change. It just takes time. It's just that discipline to to make those changes, and then you're you're you're. I've noticed that it is a little bit easier. And I have cheat days here and there. I got to be honest with you. I, I had a hamburger on a bun over the weekend. How was, was that? It was a slider though. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to do a full hamburger. I'll do a slider, smaller bun. It was great. It didn't send your body into shock. It's great. Because you'd not eaten gluten for 60 days. But I also had a slice of pizza and some spaghetti. Oh, because you're like, <laughs> oh, I've already gone down that road. I could do it again. So my thing is, if you have to give up all these things, then every once in a while, you should have a, a bad day, a crash day. And that's where you get to go in there maybe once every two weeks or once a week, whatever. And you do that, and it makes it easier. And then you're not so cranky. Have you, but, had, have you had to give up anything you love for health purposes? And if so, what was it? That's the question that we're asking this morning. Because who knows? I mean, Huey, what? No salt, no caffeine. What's the hardest thing you've ever had to give up? I mean, give up. I mean, was smoking tough for you? You smoked. No, from, it wasn't. Because what were you a teenager when you started? Yeah, but it wasn't because of the whole. Well, one, I weaned myself off. The pneumonia of, that you got. Well, I went back. It was like ever since I was a teenager, I went back and forth between chewing and smoking. So there'd be times when I would chew. There'd be times when I do both, but there were times that when I would chew and then I would smoke, then I would chew, then I would smoke. And I came off of smoking by chewing for seven years after smoking. So I didn't really quit smoking because I just replaced it with chewing. Right. My stepdad did that. And um, now he's smoking cigars. See, so now I chew the nicotine gum. Cigarettes. I, I, don't, I don't think I'll ever chew. be able to shake the nicotine gum. I don't. And I don't ever think I will ever be able to shake coffee if for whatever reason my doctors came to me and they said you gotta cut the coffee this happened my grandma she had kidney disease and she loved coffee and she never she could never get rid of the 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 coffee in her life she's like no i I just i gotta have the coffee she was addicted to the caffeine and the coffee uh somebody should have slipped her some decaf see if she even noticed well, she would notice because your body has a reaction. Yeah, Starting to get headaches. Like I'm things. in the same boat as my grandmother, not from the kidney disease uh, standpoint, thank God. But um, for you know that that I know when I wake up in the morning, I have a headache because I've gone eight hours without having any caffeine. I need to get caffeine in me immediately. Wow. That's weird. I Every never. Morning. I never do, and I Every drink. I drink as I much coffee as you do. Every morning I wake up with a headache. But no, I, you probably drink more coffee. I drink than me a now. lot more coffee. I you drink need coffee. To try I, to drink more water. I drink coffee before I go to bed. See, that's weird. Just you to should, make sure I have. You should try to drink more water. I have that caffeine carryover through the. I night. think when you drink more, I, I'm the thing where I always have to be drinking something. So I've been started drinking a lot of water, and I think that that might help you. But I don't know. I'm no. I have no idea. I'm just trying not to lose it. Are you giving health advice? No. Do you, do you want to hit the links later on? Give me golf advice while we're at it. <laughs>